Hi everyone, this is Terry from Ramblings of a Texas Craft Room. Uh, we're going to be part two of our Paris card. Uh, this is the card that we're making, and this is how far we got. We got the card uh, inked up, we got it stamped, we got the book plate on it, and we got all our stamps on it, and we're in the middle of making our um, dress form. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the pins that we cut out at six inches out of the sentimental cartridge, and I'm going to show you how we're going to make these into a into her base for her. What we're going to do is we're going to, now as you can see, this did not cut perfectly. My Cricut for some reason did not like this black paper and you can tell both of these did not cut perfectly. But that's okay because the parts that messed up, which are the point, is what I'm cutting off anyway. So it didn't matter. So I didn't recut them. Okay, so we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut right here and we're just going to cut that point right off. And there's our base. And then we'll just slip it here and there she is. That's the base. Now, I tape mine because sometimes you have to move it two or three times to get it correct. And then we're going to glue her down anyway. So, I just tape her. And you, ta you can just, however, how tall you want her, how big your card is. You know, all of those things are variables to you. I'm going to sit right there and see what happens. Well, it's a little off, so we're going to move her. And you just move it around till you're happy with it. And then when you're happy with it, that's all that matters. See, there it is. There's the base. Okay? We make it. See, we're going to put it on our card. There you go. So now I need to make the top. Now on the top, you can do it two different ways. And, I, and I've made six cards like this for a card swap. I'm making these for the card swap. And so I've made six of these. And so in every one of them is different. Every one of them is different. Because they're all hand done. They're all hand stamped. They're all hand made. And they're just different. And so you just do it however you want. So uh, you can cut the top off here and use this as your top which is what I'm planning on doing or you can cut it here and use this round part right here this is what I did here and made it round it just depends on how you want to do it okay I'm gonna cut this here and I'm gonna just put it on the top okay and I'm also going to take this just regular tape until I can get it exactly where I want it there we go. let's see See, that's a little too low. I don't like that. It's too low. I want it to be a little taller. And it's all preference to you because your hand doing this and yours can be any way you want. However you think a dress form looks or wants to look, that's how you do it. You do. That's what the great, the most wonderful thing about altered art or making cards or, or scrapbooking. It's whatever looks good to you. There it is. Okay. There she is. So I'm going to put her here. Now I'm going to put her a little charm right here. This is just a little charm that I bought at a Walmart and they came I think there were six of them no I didn't I got this Joann's I'm sorry uh, Joann's I think there came six and they were three dollars or something I don't know they're very inexpensive but but they have a little bling in them so we're gonna put it right there okay and while that's drying and before I put her to the thing I got these little um, tiny tiny little um, man, if I could open them okay they're very tiny they have little tiny heads on them uh, pins in there in the quilting section at Walmart. And they were a couple of dollars. And what I'm going to do is I want them to be black. So I'm just going to take, I don't the yellow and the, the pink would be okay. So I may leave one pink and just make one black. Let's just do that. And you take your Sharpie and you just color it and it makes it, make it a black pin. Because I want it to be, I want them to look, and they were, you know, they were in size. They were very small. So they looked really good so we'll let that dry for a second while that's drying for a second we're going to put our pink one in and we're just going to put it so that she'll be well embellished we're just going to stick it in the in there like that and then we're going to take the black one and we're going to put it right there so there she is now how we're going to attend her to the card i'm going to grab some um is we're just going to use regular foam tape if you have uh anything you want it's fine you got Pop dots, uh, anything you want to use is fine. Oh, I'm going to move this over before I tape it down. Just a little bit so you can see her better. There we go. There we go. Alright, we'll turn her over. And we're just going to run it down the back. And then I'm going to get a very small piece for the bottom. So we can hold that down too. And this stuff uh, is, you know, real inexpensive and, and it works well, but boy, some days it's hard to get off the backing. And some days you pay for the, the, the price of this stuff. Oh, look at there. I looked out today. 
Uh oh, make sure I'm not taking anything off the front. Okay, that to glue really good. Okay, let's get that off. Now let's get this little one off. Yeah, see, it doesn't want to come off. There it goes. Okay, now, uh oh, you know what I forgot? One more thing. Let me get the back of this off and then we can. Okay, I forgot I want to add some ribbon to the bottom of this. And I have about 10 inches of organza ribbon. And what I'm going to use is this 3-in-1 craft glue. And I am just going to put it along here. It dries really fast. And because this is so thin, I am just going to gather it. And it will and grab up some of that glue. As I, as I drag it across there, it picks up some of that glue and I'm holding it down. And it will dry in just a matter of minutes. So we're just going to let it go like that and we're just going to hold it down. Now we don't want it to be perfect. We want it to look all messy and, and gathered and you know all messed up. So let me get like that. See how fast it glues? I just love that glue. And if you need some more, you just, you know, put some more. Like I need just a little bit more right here. It, it drew, it, um, what do you want to call it? It dried on me. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. Now. What's good about over here, let's say I want a little bit more over here with this glue, you just grab you some more of this and put it over there. And just add it right on top and just keep gluing it until it glues. And you can use whatever, you know, if you want a, a, a brighter um, color, then I would use a, a bolder, um, you could use black, you could use white, you could use whatever color you want. Okay, now this is all sticky, so we're now going to take it and we're going to put it in right here on top. Okay. Now, she looks pretty cute. I like her. Okay, now what we're going to do is, if you have Glimmer Mist, now's the time to put some Glimmer Mist on if you just want something sparkly. I want her to be pretty sparkly. I know you can't tell, but this card is covered with uh, glitter. Uh, it's hard to tell in the video, I know. But, okay, let me show you what I use for glitter. Uh, I do have some Glimmer Mist, but uh, it's pretty expensive, and I use it sparingly. And I have to make six of these cards, so... Uh, no, I'm not going to use my glitter mist. So what I have is this is Party Success. It's glitter spray for your hair and your body. Now where you get this is at Walmart. It costs $2. At least it does here in Texas. And uh, it's in the party section. It's where they have the paper plates, paper napkins, that kind of thing. Uh, and it's for your hair. And it, for $2, it lasts forever because there's a ton in here. And it takes just a very, shake it really well, but it takes just a nanosecond to spray this whole entire card will be covered in glitter okay you don't have to keep spraying it just once and it's done so this right here I, I expect I probably get 40 or 50 sprays out of this can I mean that's in it for two dollars that's pretty good and I buy the clear with the gold because I like the gold so that's and they have different colors too but they're bright colored and not really want something you'd want to put on a card but anyway so you take this and you just go that's it that's all the glitter and that thing is I wish you could see it. I really do. It is covered in glitter. I promise you. If you spend the $2, you will say thank you, Terry. That's brilliant idea. Because I'm telling you, it works. See that? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go ahead and ink up the back and ink around the insides. Now, this was going to be a Mother's Day card or a Mother's Day inspired card for me. But the stamp that I have for Mother's Day was too big. It was just, it just covered too much. So, I'm going to get a smaller sentiment to put on the side. This is Happy Mother's Day. But it could be for daughter. You could put one that says daughter. You could put one that says, you know, just about anything. Grandma, any, any, uh, you know, you could talk about being grandmother's attic. Oh, let me trim this off. There's lots of things you could do. Okay, I know my time is probably up. Well, there's my card. I hope you enjoy it. I really did like making it, and I will probably make more of these. So this is the card that I'm making for our group um, in the swap group for the uh, scrap lifters over at Yahoo. So if you're in that group and you wanted to be surprised, oh, sorry, I should have put a disclaimer. Uh, this is what I'll be making. I also made another card. Let me grab it. Here's the other card that I made. Uh, you'll get this card, and you'll get one of these cards for me. Well, you'll get 12 cards, but for me, you're going to get these two cards. This is the other card that I made, and it is a Mother's Day card, and I took chalk, and I put brown, uh, brown. I put blue on the back. I just chalked it up with my chalks, and I cut a limb from uh, Create a Critter. Uh, the leaves are from Martha Stewart Punch, and the little swaddling baby uh, is from Catalog, no, Calendar. Yeah, the designer calendar. That's it. Designer calendar uh, cartridge. It has a little baby on there. And then I just cut the rolling hills out of some paper that had um, 
had flowers on it, so it, it was nice. But the, and then I stamped it with Mother's Day. So that you're getting this card and this card from me. Uh, I don't guess you get two opposite cards because you have more different cards. But anyway, that's what I'm making. So I hope you liked it. If you'd like to go over to my uh, blog, uh, Ramblings of a Texas Craft Room dot blogspot dot com, uh, and leave a message, I'd really appreciate it. And if you make one of these cards, leave me a link to where your card is. I'd love to see it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate it. You have a great day. Bye.